Welcome back. Uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, they want certain IDs on this timer. Um, so, those IDs are annoying, but we need to put them on there. Um, and timer label and time left. So, we got our timer. Label time left. So we'll move on to the next bit, which is oops, uh, the play pause button and the reset button. So I'll just make a new uh, component here. Little controls. Little controls. If we got a class name of controls, I like to just name it the same. It keeps it simple. And this is just going to be a couple of buttons. IDs for those start, stop, and reset. So, ID for this top one is start underscore for some reason, stop. And ID for this one is. So, I looked up the. Um, special codes for just these buttons or whatever. And that was the one I came up with um, for that. And then I will explain this when I, once I paste it in here. So this one uh, is a conditional. Let's spread it out so we can see it a little bit better. Um, based on <clears throat> this is representing both play and pause at the same time, so it's managed. We're going to manage it with a piece of state called active, meaning active meaning is the timer counting down. Is it in motion? If it's in motion, we want to show the pause button. If it's not in motion and paused, we want to show the play button. And we had to wrap them in span just to not have an error. Um, with this little ternary expression here. Um, so we can add active to our state and call it false. And then bring in our controls. The active is this dot, this dot state dot active. That'll bring those in for now. Um, looking pretty good. Um, so if we were to change after the true, we can see that pause button. That's why there's two here. Um, it's just there's no pause that I could find, so I just put two lines next to each other. You know, you could use icons, like I said, and make it a lot nicer than this. But this is just an easy way to to get it going. Um, so the next thing we want to do is start thinking about, well, how can we make these so they work? How can we get these to work? So we're going to need some kind of on-click uh, handler to put on the, to this. And this is where I'm going to show you, well, okay, we've got four buttons. We've got two buttons in each one. One, two, three, four buttons. I'm going to just write four functions um, that change these states right here, the break value and session value. So we could write, you know, handle, you know, increase, break, you know, and then 
state plus one for that. But I'll show you a way to combine things and save some code. So we're going to say handle uh, set timers. Give me a function. Now how are we going to do this? So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a couple parameters. We're going to say pass in the first one's going to be a boolean. We'll say uh, I will say, is it incrementing? Basically, do we want to add or subtract? Do we want to add? We'll just pass it a boolean. So if yes, we want to add. If no, we want to subtract. And our second one is going to be, well, is it going to be on the break or on the session? So we can just say pipe. We could say, okay. You need to call this that set state. What are we going to call it on? Well, we've got session and break value. So we can say in square brackets, we can say type. Value. So one second. <laughs> I always forget exactly how I did things. Okay, we just passed the type in directly. My bad. So we just we're gonna pass in type, and then we're gonna say okay. Incrementing question mark. Oh no, we're going to return. I'm sorry. This that state type. That's just a way to reference the state object with brackets instead of dots. So this would look up look like handle. Set, I feel like I'm doing a horrible job of explaining this. Handle set timers, and then if we wanted to increment, we'd say true, and then we pass in um, session value like that. So it would say, okay, type it, this would get translated into session value here, and then this that state that session value, and then we'd say, well, is it incrementing? Yeah, we put a plus here, and then we say, well, is it incrementing? If it's incrementing, we'll say plus one. Over if it's not incrementing, we'll say minus one. And you got to put this in parentheses. And I know I really totally butchered explaining that with all the second guessing and typos, um, but the end product is okay. It's going to get this type, so we can have different types, session or break value. And then we can say this that state that session or break value. Well, increment will add one and then we'll add a negative one, which is actually subtracting one and we're dec decrementing. So, so these we can say, we'll just call it handle click in this case. We'll say this that's uh, this dot Handle set timers. Handle pass and handle click. And I'll show you how it gets implemented in the next video. I don't want to get stuck in between and uh, not explain it right.